Yes, UNEDA is uh, an umbrella organization, uh, Italian Union of uh, Adult Education. Yes. It's collect more than 65 uh, organizations in, in Italy, most, mostly working on non-formal education that work in uh, adult education in it, Italy. It works in all of Italy? All of Italy, yes. Is it difficult to work as a central organization, an umbrella, in a country that has a large part of autonomy, that the regions are very deciding themselves how they want to develop their education system? Yes, it is. So how do you deal with it? How do you manage to work nationally? Uh, there are different levels, because uh, um, at one level we, we work in, uh, most in uh, uh, sharing knowledge among the, uh, the network and also uh, with other outside of the network, with, with other organizations and also, also um, creating, uh, uh, making the knowledge uh, visible because this uh, network or organization has a lot of uh, experiences. Uh, and, and the first thing is it's important to make visible all this knowledge. Uh, at this level, the organization can manage by itself, of course. Uh, another level is um, uh, dialogue with the local authorities. And at this, at, at this level, more or less, each organization manages it at regional, regional level. No? Yeah. Uh, and the other level is the national level. And uh, UNIED has been involved in creating some proposal of a law. Uh, also, if in this, in this field, it's very difficult to, to go on because the, of the lack of interest. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, the political uh, sphere on, uh, about uh, adult, adult education. So this is, we have this three level. Mm -hmm. What are you most happy about in your work? What is the success that you have achieved that you can say, we did this and, and it was good? Uh, do you mean... UNIEDA, yeah. As, as un, UNIEDA? Yes. Um, different uh, achievement. Uh, of course, we have we are managed uh, um, different projects. Mm. All in uh, m most of them on uh, lifelong learning uh, program. Uh, as the one I I told today in this conference, uh, European members. Yes. Uh, one of the main field that we are working on is uh, field of memory. Several years that we work on this. Uh, in this field, and, um, um, and it, it's interesting because it's uh, um, uh, something that uh, uh, that we are uh, developing step by step. So at the moment, at, at this stage, we have created an important tool that is this uh, digital archive, uh, where people can upload stories. Mm -hmm. And at, at the moment, we have. Uh, uh, um, already uh, more than 500 uh, stories uh, in video, text, photo, audio, uh, poetry, uh, in studies and research too. Um, and this is a tool that, is, uh, um, of course, it will be developed uh, step uh, again, uh, more, sorry. And uh, um, in this uh, site, we are also in this portal, we have also uh, created a database for organization working in the field of memory in Europe. Now tell me, you said that it is a problem to raise political interest in non-formal adult education. Yes. And we know that also the participation rate of adults in Italy in non-formal adult education is not very big. So what is the biggest problem for you? Political will and funding or attitudes with the population of Italy about what education is? Mm. Which of the two is the more tricky one for you yeah. to deal with? It's hard to say <laughs> what is the main uh, difficulty. Yeah. Yes. Difficulty, but um, we have to say that uh, one of the, of the bigger uh, ch challenge, um, challenger that uh, that we have to, to manage mm. is how to involve people 
that is not already, uh, I would say, interested in. I mean, it's, we, we saw that it's, uh, it's much easier to involve people that has already uh, mm, uh, uh, an in interest and yeah. it's already a, uh, a starting base, basement uh, on the cultural point of view. Yeah. I mean, uh, and it's very difficult to involve person, especially men, men that uh, have not already done something in this field. So this is one of the main, uh, uh, I say, uh, direction we have to work, I think. And to do this, you were quite progressive in Italy 10 years ago to have the local centers for guidance, the, the lifelong learning centers. And you told us here today at the Infonet meeting that largely it did not work because very few regions actually took it up. Only two or three regions actually decided to work on this level. And now they're being transformed into some sort of regional centers instead. What do you expect will be the outcome of, of the new, of the change to, to regional centers? Yeah. Um, mm, indeed, the transformation was uh, from a uh, regional uh, center uh, uh, sorry, um, territorial uh, center of uh, adult education into provincial, provincial yeah. center that yeah. is so yeah. a lower level than, uh, than a region. Um, and, and the problem is uh, in, in this uh, uh, center, uh, the problem is uh, how to um, create a, re a real connection between the, among the different ag uh, agency that mm -hmm. work mm -hmm. uh, on uh, education at a different level, uh, non-formal and formal and informal. You know? uh, these uh, um, areas of education very often are uh, separated, you know? and um, and uh, so uh, it's very difficult to to create. Uh, collaboration and connection among these this three uh, areas. This is one of the, the most important uh, um, difficulties. Um, the other is to uh, facilitate uh, the participation uh, not, all, not all, only of adults in general and men, but also some specific target of person and groups of person like migrants, for example, because uh, migrants uh, uh, very often uh, they uh, uh, their um, daily organization does not fit with uh, the, the school organization. No? Uh, the days that uh, migrants uh, often are free and can participate are not the days. Uh, the, the school is open, no? so there are some difficulties like, mm. like this. Mm. No? So we have a structural challenge that the systems do not match the needs of those who should go there. Yes. We have a change in society, in inc increasing numbers of migrants coming to Italy, a change in the political scene, the political parties being not what they were 20 years ago, yeah. We have a change in the financial markets because of globalization and change in, in how companies behave. And nobody contests that adult education can play a very important role to help people survive in these changes. Now, how will you do that in Unieda? How will you make sure that <laughs> adult education can help people to survive the transitions and to have a good life? Yes. Uh, before to, to go in this, uh, I, I want to... Uh, to highlight, uh, um, to come back just just a bit to, to the, uh, the issues we talked uh, before, uh, if you consider that in Italy, uh, almost 50% uh, of uh, um, uh, Italian languages courses are uh, hold, uh, held by uh, third sector, more than uh, so. There is very big. Uh, uh, need of this uh, um, uh, kind of activities, and uh, most of them are 
uh, done by uh, private association, uh, volunteers, you know? and this is a very uh, big evidence you know? how uh, society need uh, adult education. Mm -hmm. you know? Um, we think that uh, there are uh, three uh, main uh, uh, aspects uh, that we have to work, uh, uh, that we have to, uh, to try to, to manage. Um, one is uh, that educa adult education uh, have to, can help people to, uh, um, we can say, to know them, themselves. So we know that it's, it's very important um, uh, to learn languages, to learn uh, uh, computers, and so many matters. We, uh, uh, but uh, it's very important also. To, uh, don't forget that. Do not forget that. Uh, uh, it's, it's important to uh, um, to help people to be aware. No? Uh, um, what, 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 why is it important for me to, uh, to, to study uh, um, language in my life or to know, uh, uh, to improve some skills of, 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 of knowledge or competences, but connected with my life first. Second, to uh, a critical knowledge about the world and the society. And this is more and more important uh, um, because, as we uh, uh, we talk about this also today in this conference, uh, you know, for people to understand the world, what, what's uh, uh, the, the context, society well, um, today is uh, is very it's very important. And third, for us, it's very important to. To, uh, to allow people to um, uh, uh, to to take to manage uh, the we call the uh, the means to do um, so to, to help people to uh, to do uh, things by themselves mm -hmm. and to do things with other so uh, we think that uh, these are three very important uh, direction. Uh, in, in that we have to keep in our mind uh, when we work in um, adult education. How to do this? And this is also uh, important. Um, just uh, some uh, sh short things. Uh, one is uh, uh, to work on the methodologies. This is very important because uh, very often um, uh, people that work in adult education uh, 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 we learn and we have learned by doing, mm -hmm. you know? uh, and th this is good, of course. But uh, if you want to, to go a step uh, 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 forward, uh, now I think that we can work in, in, a, in a more structured way mm -hmm. on methodologies. Um, first. Second, um, um, by the, the point of view of uh, vision and uh, um, ideas um, um, uh, that are, at the, um, I would say, uh, a basement of adult education, we have so uh, uh, already, we have a lot of, uh, 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 um, of a story, no? And uh, we have a lot uh, of uh, um, knowledge and, uh, and the maps already and persons. Uh, Grundvik, uh, uh, in Italy we have uh, Don Lorenzo Milani. Uh, we have also uh, very important contributes in the story of adult education. No? And uh, so uh, it's very important that we uh, uh, don't uh, forget some very important, um, I say, uh, basement you know, uh, of, of our work. Uh, third, of course, on the field of policy. It's true that uh, uh, it's a very uh, simple evidence 
that uh, adult education is in Europe, in Europe, uh, in a, a European Union, by the point of view of resources, is really, I say, the last. Uh, uh, the resources uh, uh, that uh, we can uh, available for adult education uh, surely must be um, as a, uh, increased. Increased. Yeah, yeah. I know that you look at history and life stories and biographies and memories. But nevertheless, my last question will be about the future. We live now in 2010. What will non-formal adult education in Italy look like in 2030? 2030? Yes. <laughs> uh, it, it's a very hard question. Yes. <laughs> um, surely, uh, mm, we see that uh, uh, Italy, uh, in Italy, uh, mm, we have uh, mm, a lot of persons um, now that come from other cultures. And for, for us, it's a, it's a more uh, uh, recent uh, 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 story. Yes. Yeah? But uh, for other uh, European country, uh, it, it, it happened before. No? So for, for so for us, this is a very big uh, uh, issues mm -hmm. to work mm -hmm. on uh, mm -hmm. uh, to build a multicultural society and uh, to work to build on coexistence. No? Uh, I think this is so. Uh, one aspect. Mm. The other, of course, is uh, I think to work on uh, uh, to make visible uh, informal uh, learning and uh, the competences that that persons uh, gain uh, in in uh, life in life. And this is very important uh, quite now. Uh, then uh, in the economical. A crisis. I see so many people that have to also uh, people uh, over over 40 that have to reinvent their life, huh? and um, uh, this is very uh, very hard. Huh? Um, and so we need very strongly to uh, uh, to tell. And to be sure that uh, when we tell to this person uh, that it's possible uh, to, uh, um, that, uh, to, to, um, to create something and to uh, also to, to change no? uh, our life. Uh, and um, I strongly believe this. And, uh, and we also uh, we have to strongly uh, uh, give this uh, this message uh, and to propose uh, to propose this and uh, for to uh, to gain this uh, to make uh, visible informal competences uh, can be uh, very important and uh, uh, last uh, I want to say that uh, uh, I think that also uh, active uh, citizenship is uh, something very, very important. Um, uh, if you, if we see in long, long uh, term, uh, the story uh, of Europe, we see that in um, in general there is a, a, an improvement of active uh, citizenship. People uh, are more is more interested are more interested in environment in the. Uh, in, the, in what I hit, uh, in what uh, uh, um, in the place where I live. No? Mm. Uh, by the other side, there is like uh, uh, some very uh, um, uh, if we see in a global uh, point of view, um, 
we see, for example, that uh, what, uh, uh, talking at international level, uh, what uh, as, as uh, the resources that are, are being invested in to solve the financial crisis, uh, uh, should, uh, if we see to other problems like uh, poverty of the south of the world and uh, water and uh, care, no? um, we see that uh, the, the mi mi millennium goals no? mm. uh, has not been achieved as expected. Uh, but uh, 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 if we see to the resources uh, that has been involved uh, used for, to, for to, uh, the fin financial crisis, it should be enough for, for to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, I say, I, I call it a delirium. No? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, in some way we have to wake up no? to, to open. Uh, our eyes, you know? because um, um, sometimes we think that some problems cannot be solved, you know? but it's not true. Uh, and we sometimes we say this because it uh, doesn't happen to me. But uh, um, uh, I strongly believe it, it's not true, and this problem can be solved. So. Uh, we have to uh, wake up and um, and open uh, our eyes and uh, in, in this uh, by this point of view uh, i think that people can discover more and more that, that to be active uh, is not only that just you do uh, because uh, for a moralistic or uh, point um, uh, you say uh, aspect, uh, but because in this way you really feel more connected with your human being and you feel more realized as a person and, and more happy and more in connection to the other. So I think that uh, this is a very important aspect we have to work on. You have now talked about the, the needs and the challenges of the persons, the individuals, of society and of us as a human species to survive on this globe as a whole. Hand on your heart, can we educators do this? Can we, can we be a part of this change? Do you believe that we can play a role in this? Yes. Uh, I've been uh, involved in, in adult, adult education since many years, I, 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 th I think that I, I felt in love for uh, adult education. I'm a sociologist. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I was, when I finished my study, no, I didn't think that I, uh, uh, I should be a so sociologist because I, I had no trust in change. Or, Society. I, I did, did not trust in um, politics uh, or things like that. But when I uh, met adult education, uh, I immediately felt that uh, that was the key for to produce a, a change. And I've met in all this year, uh, in this field, a lot of person, very uh, um, passionate person. Really, uh, I have to say, uh, I've been at the last two social forum, uh, World Social Forum, and the, the last day of the social forum, there are like, like thematic uh, meetings, and the thematic meeting of uh, in education and adult education is always the most uh, strong uh, meeting. And um, uh, so I, I, want, I, I say this also for to... Uh, um, because um, for two reports uh, in this moment, uh, also a, 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 an experience, uh, not only European experience, but mm -hmm. also a uh, more wide experience. I think that in general, educators, people that work in education, uh, um, they have very strong passion for, and, um, and mostly, uh, and uh, they really, uh, believe and trust in, in the possibility to change. Also because 
And very often, I think that uh, uh, we are persons that are, that are uh, experimented in our life, and, con and we are still experimenting in our life uh, something connected with, uh, with change. And uh, because we are also, we are persons that uh, we make the same question uh, to ourselves. Mm -hmm. We try in first person to, uh, to answer to this question. And, and what we propose to the other, uh, um, I think that mostly comes from our experience. Uh, so my answer is, I, I think uh, that, uh, mm, yes, that uh, if there is a possibility to, to create uh, a change, um, education can be a, I say a, a very uh, important uh, key. Thank you. Thank you to you.